Hello, my name is Paul Lindbergh in Intel's Global Developer Relations Division. I'm here today to talk to you about laptop gaming. We see that many more laptops are being sold today than ever before, and many more people are playing games on their laptops. So we're encouraging game developers to take advantage of laptop system awareness uh, and, and turn their games into more laptop-friendly titles. So to that end, Intel has developed a uh, development kit called the Intel Laptop Gaming TDK, which provides a very easy way to monitor system state in your game. And uh, to show how that TDK can work, I built a mod for Half-Life 2 to incorporate some of those features to help give you an idea of what that could look like in your game. So first let me show you the, the, what the mod looks like, and then we'll talk more about how it does what it does. We picked Half-Life 2 because it's an, it's an industry-leading title. It's, a, it's an industry standard uh, benchmark title, it, as well as being just a great game and the highest ranked game of all time, according to Metacritic. So you'll see here, at the bottom of the window in Half-Life 2, we have a new panel that we've added to the heads-up display. I built the code to add that in here, but the only code that I had to worry about was how to make it look right in the user interface. All of the, the system awareness that, that uh, I am exposing to you here was gathered through a couple of simple API calls through the Laptop Gaming TDK. So on the left, you'll see a power meter that shows currently we're charging on, on AC power. But when I unplug the AC power, as I just did, we'll see what the current battery charge is. And then after a, a minute of, of running off of the battery, we'll get a good trend to see how the battery is draining. And we'll have a predicted runtime that we'll show there. Very useful features to show in your game so that someone knows if, the, if they have the, the available battery power to have a good gaming session. Now you can see the, the time show up there at the bottom. To the right of that, in that same panel, you also see that, uh, that our wireless signal is 100%. Is, uh, uh, wireless is currently turned on, and we're receiving a full-strength wireless signal. So if I shut that signal off, if I shut off my wireless device, you'll see that we can also show that here. Now that might not be very very interesting in your game or that might be hugely interesting. In this case, it's, it's quite helpful to tell a user that you're gaming in a single user session. You don't actually need wireless for the game, so it's a nice reminder to advise the user that wireless is on and consuming some power. You might wish to shut it off to get a little bit longer battery life. And in fact, we see here that as wireless is off, the predicted, ba the predicted runtime on battery will trend up. I'll switch wireless back on, and we'll see that we, we once again acquire the, batter, the, uh, the wireless strength. And I'll plug back into the AC power to see that we very quickly detect that we're now charging the battery. These are, t these are features that are very useful for your gamers, and uh, uh, this is one way that those features might be exposed in a game, but how you might wish to expose that in your game is entirely up to to your user interface designers to deci decide the best way that that can show up there and be most useful for your users. You may wish, wish to have uh, occasional uh, advisory notices to the user based on their, their current battery drain rate or their, their current battery charge. You may wish to advise them if they're losing wireless signal strength, perhaps they want to seek a, a better location for, uh, uh, for wireless gaming. All of the features to do this, as well as some additional features, are available in the Laptop Gaming TDK. I showed you here the power monitoring state and the, the wireless signal strength. We also detect the network state to see whether the device is enabled or disabled. Uh, we have the ability to detect different CPU states to see how, wo how well we're using the CPU. We can also monitor and adapt to different network bandwidths and can, can limit the network bandwidth that we wish to use. All those features are available to you through the Laptop Gaming TDK, and you can go check out Intel Software Network to get a copy of that TDK and to learn more about it, uh, as well as join in discussions to get support for, for your development using this TDK and uh, uh, get help, if, you, if you'd like, from Intel engineers as well as other game developers that might be using the TDK. You can find all that information at www.intel.com software mobile. Thank you very much.